Hey everyone, welcome to your lengthy video. And I say lengthy not because the video is long, rather we're talking about a really important function to get the length of a string. Yeah, I know, my puns are fire. All right, let's get started. Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there. Let's just say we have message and it's please subscribe because I'm desperate. All right, guys, come on, help me out. And what we can do is we can print this message. Running this and we get please subscribe. And what we can do is we can also print indexes of this. So for example, we can grab index six and that's going to give us um, a space, of course. And what if we wanted to actually figure out the, the total number of indexes in this string? So, you know, maybe we wanted to loop through this string later on and grab each character. We need to know when to stop. And the way we can do that is with a special function, and it's actually called len. So here's how we're gonna invoke it. Let me just move this down a line. We're gonna say len and then pass in message. And it returns the number of items in a container. So the container being the string, number of items, items being characters. So this is going to return that. So what we need to do is we actually need to take it and put it inside of a print so we can get it out in the terminal, hitting run, and we get 16. So there's 16 characters. Let me just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So it is correct. Now, hold up. I know what you're going to ask next. Caleb, could you please tell us the association between the length of a string and the indexes of a string? Of course I can, guys. So the indexes, the max index is always going to be one less than the length. So if we grab index 15, like so, this is going to be the E. Hitting run and we grab E. So perfect. That's because the first character starts at zero, so it's shifted over one. A very common mistake for new developers is they assume the indexes go up to the length, except they don't. They go up to the length minus one. If you were to put 16, which is the length, we're going to get an error, which says index out of range. Bad boy, don't do that. So you know earlier on we grabbed the last character by saying negative one. Another way you might see something like this is actually getting the length, so length of the message and then saying minus 